Hi, Nick here. In this video, I'm going to show you how we play Perfect, the old fairground attraction number. Uh, I'm going to split the lesson down into four items. We'll do the intro for starters, then the verse, then the chorus, and then the outro. There'll be links at the end to uh, a separate video where I show you how we play the solo, and there'll also be a, a, another video with a chords and lyrics on and a backing track playing there, so you can play and sing along. Throughout the lesson, the chords will appear down here on the bottom right hand side of your screen and the tabs and the lyrics will appear across the top. Okay, let's get straight into it then. Right, let's start with the intro. Intro is one bar of G and one bar of D. We're going to hit the G chord six times and then once on the D. It goes like this, the rhythm is just like this. Try it together, one, two, three, four. Very simple, we play that, that's the intro, and it also appears um, at the end of each verse. Right, let's have a look at the verse then. Verse is uh, very straightforward stuff. It'll appear across the top of my head here. So we're going to start with G. One, two, three, four. Because we're playing, we're playing the A as a barre chord. Then we play D. Also, you might play it like that. D, which is basically the A shape moved up from the barre on fret five. And then the G and the A are a D shape. You take your your regular D shape and you play that there. So your index finger here is on your 7th fret, so that's G, up 2 frets, to A, and then down to D. Okay, let's try that from the A. One, two, oh no, we'll do it from the G actually. One, two, three, four. Okay, and that's the verse. Very straightforward. Shall we try it all together? One, two, I don't So the start of the chorus is pretty well the same as the the intro in terms of its it's gotta so we're going to go from D to D seventh it's gotta and then we're going to take on a different sort of rhythm to play the chorus so let's have a look at the chorus the chorus is very similar all the way through to um, to this the last section that we just played it's got a chuggy sort of a rhythm it's the sort of rhythm we're going to play. So we're doing quite a bit of damping with the right hand and we're pumping with the left hand. And all the accents are on the way up. Okay, so let's uh, sing our way through as we go through. The G's and the A's are going to be up here again. So it's good. Take care. 
nothing. Now, when we get to less, you don't actually play a chord, you're just gonna... So it's the bottom E string, and we're playing the F sharp and G. Just like that. So, to take it from the B minor. I don't take anything. So that's the chorus. After the chorus, we've got another verse. And after the verse, we've got another chorus. Then we've got a solo. Um, the solo is played over a verse. So there's nothing new there. Chords are exactly the same. There's a, a link at the end, which will take you to another video that shows you how to play the solo. Um, verse three, then, is the same, another verse. And then the chorus at the end is exactly the same as the other choruses, except we're going to repeat the last line. We're going to repeat the, it's got to be perfect. So let's do the last chorus together. Oh, and we're going to finish, actually. Let me show you the last chord. We're going to finish on a D6 with a ninth. Which is that little fella, which is an absolute beaut. Um, so you're going to play your um, ring finger on fret 5, those three strings all together, index finger on uh, string 4, on the 4th fret, and then this fella on those two. So that's going to hit E and A together, and then just to put the 6th, so that is D ninth, and then to put the 6th on the ninth, we've got to put your little binky up here on fret 7. It's quite a tricky one to play. So that's the very last chord. Okay, so let's try the last chorus all together. So we're going to repeat the last line and finish on this chord. It's got to be perfect. It's got to be you got all that don't forget there's a couple more links coming up in a second one will take you to a how to play the solo uh, and then there'll be another video with the chords and lyrics with a backing track playing so you can play along and sing along and don't forget to subscribe okay until next time